Hello everyone, this tutorial will show you how to make something like what you see. The first part of this tutorial should be beginners friendly and will teach you how to make a landscape, how to create alpha brushes from real world locations using height maps and how to sculpt it. In the second part of the tutorial we will learn how to make a smart material, how to replace the FPS character and add. Let's start by creating an empty level and then select landscape mode. We can use import from file to add a height map, but this time we're going to skip it, we're actually going to use the height map to create an alpha brush to sculpt our landscape. Create a 255 by 255 map. Now we will add some light to our landscape. We're going to take a moment now to show you how we can create a landscape from a height map. Let's go to this site I will specifically choose this beautiful mountain range from Central Europe. Now you can notice the changes that happened on our landscape. Of course it is necessary to multiply the width by and height by your height map in order to get a good result. In this case we will not do that, we will immediately switch to the tutorial. But this is the way you can do it. Let's move on to sculpting. First we will create alpha brushes and select our hay map that we downloaded earlier. Let's add the file to the texture. As you can see, we immediately get better results than standard brush textures. Now play around until you get the desired result. Pay attention to the occasional changes to the settings in the menu they are very important so that we don't lose the quality of sculpted object. If the landscape brush is too strength, we will use the smooth tool to adjust it. Let's now move on to a natural barrier of a lower height with much more details. This is what will give us more realism in our landscape. You can notice the random sides everywhere as well as the degree of height difference we will also add a height difference layer in the lower part.
again we use mitigation to make everything look more natural. In the first two parts we learned how to make a hill and how to make a rocky cove. Now we will make a mountain consisting of several higher and lower parts including the peak. And that's it for today, it's very simple and anyone can follow even if you don't have any experience in Unreal Engines. See you in the next tutorial, which will be a little more complicated, but I will try to explain in more detail now let's find the textures we want to use in our project, I'll use some from Quixel Bridge, see you soon.